Fade in, fade out. Fade in, women, 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 fade out. Did someone hear a toilet flush? Oh, never mind. It's just the current state of Disney Star Wars. But you know who else accompanies Disney at the very bowels of the galaxy? That would be YouTube. Because being a content creator is like a volatile stock, especially with Susan Woke, Suzuki, Wakaki Hawaii, whatever the f her name is shadow banning and silencing anyone with a different mindset like me so remember google is your enemy never forget that so hit that subscribe button ring the notification bell to fight back against this blatant level of corruption now i learned two things today the oscars have an official youtube channel yeah i know that alone is devastating but the second thing that i learned was that kathleen kennedy looks like a cross between bib for Tuna and Palpatine. Or if, hold on, let me think about this for a second. Okay, look, I've got a better comparison. If Voldemort and Voldemort's sister had a kid, that would be Kathleen Kennedy. I'm only joking, don't laugh at that, how dare you? Now look, nevertheless, she's more Kennedy than she is Kathleen, that's for sure. Now I have to say, watching Disney implode with a case of terminal wokeness is the most entertaining thing they have done since Toy Story. Look, George Lucas screwed all of us when he gave this woman the keys to the car because she is so stunning and brave. So stunning and so brave. I can almost see the virtue signal all the way here across the pond in London. But why Disney placates to weirdos who aren't paying for entertainment, I will never know. At this point, it's almost like watching someone die from a thousand little paper cuts. You would think that having a liked a dislike bar that resembles Darth Vader's lightsaber would be a huge warning sign for their empty blue colored hair dye brains that something is very clearly wrong. But of course not. Those hippie dingleberries at Disney look at this and say, Kathy Kennedy, you're so, so stunning and brave. Let's actually give you a promotion, Kathy, because this, this is how Hollywood works. You fail upwards. Anyway, look, the dislike power is over. Over 9,000, 99% dislike ratio. That is what the world deserves. Now they've turned off the dislikes and we're gonna get to that later on, but go in and give them another dislike anyway. It's the spirit that counts. Now this video from start to finish might be the greatest gift that any content creator could have. When she said fade in, I wanted Thanos to turn up and say nah and snap her human thumb looking ass out of existence. No, Kathleen. Kennedy, you need to fade out permanently. I want to make this perfectly clear. This is the person in charge of overlooking all the writing material for Lucasfilm and she can't even read her own script. How do you read the words fade in f King hell, she was so inept that she actually read out the teleprompter direction of Fade In and they left it in the video. I mean, even the editors clearly can't stand her and for the life of me, I can't understand how this person still has a job. It's like Disney is the Titanic and Kennedy is the iceberg. And we all know that story doesn't end well, but imagine being the president of Lucasfilm and not having the sense to skip Fade in. How about this one? This is what you should have said, Kathy Kennedy. Fade in. Hollywood is a never ending dumpster fire. Fade out. Anyway, imagine saying women are oppressed and then turning around and then oppressing women. Here's a news flash for you. No real Star Wars fan will ever forget or forgive what Disney did to Gina Carano because Kennedy and her thugs are clearly the toxic ones and the fans are the ones standing by a woman even though they said we hated women. Funny how that works, isn't it? These people are the most hypocritical dummies on the planet. I swear to you, everything about this situation is riddled with irony. More barriers to break for women. Hmm, let me think here for a second. More barriers to break. Is that a joke? Because I don't see you breaking down barriers. I see you putting more barriers to put up the way you want companies are behaving. When you're bringing down barriers, it's called accepting a difference of opinion. Maybe you should try. Try it, you moronic pile of giraffe shit. You people don't give a f 
about progress. It's about forcing an agenda. A brave, bold future without limits for every storyteller. Oh, but except for those who do a great job on screen, but yet privately disagree with you politically, then all bets are off and you yeet them into the abyss. Now Disney and Hollywood just couldn't stand being mocked for the hypocrites that they are. So what do they do? They remove comments, likes and dislikes because like true communists they hide and cover up their failures and pretend all is well. But we all know what comments are turned off really means. It means that we are completely wrong and crazy and can't take being told so. So just like the CCP we will silence any dissenting voices. But this is what happens don't you see? We shatter their confidence so much that they had to disable the likes and dislikes and even the comments. They claim to listen to criticism but we no, that's a lie. Because Kathleen Kennedy and Lucasfilm can't handle the truth and they sure as hell don't want you to know about it. But this is also what happens when you give a billion dollar franchise to a woman who gets coffee for Steven Spielberg and cleans up his snot rags. And she couldn't even do that right according to Steven Spielberg. Now I've never seen a company try oh so hard to not make money. At some point the shareholders have to step in and remove her because she's actively harming their bottom line. Now, the funny part of this whole thing, apart from the video of course, is that all of this hate has spilled onto all of their other videos. The Oscars haven't had this much exposure in a long time. But I guarantee you they're absolutely gonna spin this as a hostile minority of trolls. Even though it's the majority of people who are absolutely f***ing done with anything Star Wars at this point and on that bombshell. Thank you all for watching, Manix out.